reverse engineer any image with the power of describe in Midjourney version 6. Earlier today, Midjourney version 6 finally released their updated version of describe and boy is it a doozy. You can upload any photo and it gives you four super extensive, super detailed prompts that you can quickly generate to reverse engineer an image from any other platform. Previously, we were really limited with what Describe could do, but it's been such an amazing tool. Now you can take an image from another platform, such as Leonardo, Ideogram, or even Dolly3, feed that into Midjourney and generate your own version of that image. This is really going to be a game changer. And I can't wait to show you what's possible as we test this new tool and see if it lives up to the promises. This is going to be an exciting one. Make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you after the music. Let's get into it. For my first test, I'm going to copy and paste prompts directly from Ideogram into Midjourney to see if we can reverse engineer these images without going through the describe process. Let's see how that turns out when I copy those prompts directly from Ideogram into Midjourney. Our first image is the gun bunny. Here's our really interesting plastic style model. The bunny looks very young, a little bit more playful, has a bit of that Pixar influence that Ideogram has. You can see we, when we run the exact same problem in Midjourney, we get a much more aggressive, much flatter colored rabbit. Can't see much of the character. It looks like an unpainted plastic model. Can't see the details, even though I know they're in there. If I click on the image and zoom in, we can see more of these details. I can see the veins here. These are well-drawn images, but it's not creating the same results. So I'm not able to reverse this bunny. Our next image is the soldier playing a video game with a bird on his shoulder. Here's the image we're modeling, which is really high quality, has some great lighting into his face. We're close, but all four of these, you can't see the soldier's face. Where it's supposed to say 500 subs, it has 500, and then it says something that almost looks Cyrillic, so it messed up the text. But here we see sub, here we see 500, 500, 500. Midjourney was able to reverse engineer the number, but the bird is not as interesting. Look how amazing this bird is. We have much smaller birds in these images. The next image we generated was flowers. F-L-O-W-E-R-S. Did we get the spelling correctly? Fail, fail, fail. That's at Stevens. All four of these have the wrong text. Look at how different the flowers are drawn. We're not able to pull in the style from the prompt. And our last example for our baseline is the cat taking pictures with its camera. This is the one where we get the closest. The text here is a better implementation. I don't think this is that important. With the text this long, you can take the picture without the text and overlay it and get the same result. The difference is that this is not a dog. This is a half dog, half cat. And none of these is the dog posing for the picture. Whereas in our baseline example, it's posing and looking very cute. Can we get these results by using describe? We're about to find out. Inside of Midjourney, we're gonna hit slash D. It will pull up describe. You have two choices, image and link. Have the images. I'm gonna drag and drop the images into the box for all four of these. Let's start with gun bunny. And then I just hit enter. It will quickly give me four longer prompts that are going to translate this prompt into Midjourney's language. Can we get a better result? It's giving much longer prompts, much more description. And we're going to imagine all four. We're going to have 16 images. And hopefully one of these will look pretty close to the original. Some of these have text added to the image and some of them don't. When you have a spelling mistake in the image, you can see that getting pulled into the prompt description. This is not Midjourney's fault. Midjourney is reading what's on the screen. It's seeing a number and then something is relics and it's trying to guess what that image is. When the text is there correctly, however, see the word flowers? It pulls it incorrectly. Flowers, 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 flowers. It read the word correctly the whole time. And with our long one, life is like a camera, focus on what's important, capture the good times, and if things don't work out, just take another shot. And look how well it read this. Life is like a camera, focus on what's important, capture the good times, and if things don't work out, just take another shot. The first part of this test is that describe can read text very effectively. That's a very good thing. Now let's go and check out these results. Here's our baseline bunny that we're trying to replicate. Here's what happens when we copy the prompt. Very different. When we reverse engineer, we're starting to get a lot closer. 
much, much closer. These are very good. Let's look at this comparison again. It's not a one-to-one -one match, but we're about 90% of the way there. This is pretty good. Close, but not quite right. This is too realistic. Now it doesn't feel like a statue anymore. Too gritty, I guess is the best way to say it. For this test, this is the closest result, and I would say we have a win. There's a problem with this prompt. We'd want to change the background to make it flat, but we have a baseline of creating a similar character. Now let's look at our bird soldier test. We have a soldier. Really realistic. Look, looks great. The text did not go well, and that's going to propagate throughout the designs, but can we get a similar beautiful bird, well-lit man, playing a game? Let's see what we can get. We got okay, but we never got the man's face in any of the reverse engineering the prompt. Let's try to describe. Here, the bird and the man's head have merged. Now we have a bird-headed man playing the game. It's funny, but it's wrong. Here, same thing. Something looks like the bird is growing off the front of his head. This is the closest. Of the four, this is almost correct, but you can't really see the man. Let's go to our next batch. Have the bird on the desk. We have the bird replacing the man. None of these is close. Here we go. Here's a great example. The bird, however, is never on his shoulder. In our original image, we have a better quality image where the bird is on the shoulder. Here, top of the head, top of the head, two birds, top of the head, top of the head, top of the head, top of the head. We never get the bird on the shoulder. Overall, this one is close, but it's a miss. We didn't get what we we're looking for. Now let's try flowers. Here's our original image, a Pixar feel of the flowers. Popping the prompt did not work. Let's look at describe. Miss. This is the correct style, but the word is not pulling through nearly as nicely. If we look closer. This is very similar in style, but the text didn't work. Let's look at our next design. This time we got the word right. Some of them very close. The word isn't working every single time, but the flower design, the colors, we're able to replicate it. So this is a pass on the test. Our next design is the cat with a camera. Here's our original design. This is a lot of text to put into an image. So this is really going to push Midjourney to see what it's capable of. The text is not quite right. Life's parents, life is like camera. So it's very hard, and I wouldn't use this much text in a prompt, but I wanted to do a really hard test. Miss, miss, let's look at the style comparison. We're very close. This and this styles are correctly. However, we don't have a cat taking a picture of a dog. We have a cat close, holding a camera above a dog. That's the closest we get. It's never aiming the lens at the dog. Let's try our last image. Same thing. We're able to get close, but we're not able to fully reverse engineer what Ideogram can do. So Ideogram still has some uniqueness. However, this describe is really outperforming copying the prompts. In our next round of tests, we're going to reverse engineer some images from Leonardo. Leonardo has a really distinct style that is hard to capture just via prompt. Here we have a tiger made out of glass that's shattering. Can we reverse engineer this image? We're not going to do the prompt test. We're just going to try describe and see how close we can get. Let's see if we can pull some of the beauty of Leonardo so that you don't have to pay for Leonardo description to get that Leonardo style. We're going to find out that in our next round of tests. I picked four images from Leonardo that really represent the unique Leonardo style and some of the things that it's doing that other image generators aren't really doing or are very challenging for mid journey. And one of them was rejected. I want to show this image denied. Let me show you the image. I'm not sure why. I don't normally generate images like this, but this is the distinctive Leonardo style. It looks like a woman warrior, maybe because it's showing a little bit of bum, but not really. She's fully clothed. To me, this isn't across the line. And when you see how the next prompt of the anime cartoon style woman, I'm really not sure what caused this, but this first test failed. This character, it refused to make this style. I'm not sure what the cause of the failure was, but I'm not going to go back and grab another image because a fail is a fail, and I want to cover that first. Let's start with our first example, the glass tiger. Here, we have a really great-looking tiger that has glass. The glass is shattering. There's silver. It comes very realistic. And we're looking at how close do our images from Describe get. These are pretty good. They have some pretty good elements. This has the silver outside of the glass on the inside. 
This is more of a glass element than less the silver. Really depends on your opinion. Pretty good here. This tiger looks amazing. There's so much detail, it's almost hard for me to see what's happening in the image. The eyes are working, the, the picture is very kinetic. Let me go back and look at my original image. Golly, we're getting pretty close. These look pretty cool to me. These tigers look a little bit more robotic. This almost looks like a panther in the shape of the ears. This is a pass. It's not exactly the same, but it's very close. We're within 90%. And if we curve the prompt, did some modifications, I believe we could get much closer. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I completely off base? The Leonardo image is better. I'm aware of that. The question is, can Midjourney catch up or get close? And it's getting pretty close to this very cool glass effect, which is very impressive to me. Our next design is a paper warrior princess. This is a very cool style where it looks like construction paper created multiple layers. The woman is holding a spear with some feathers on the back end of it. There's a bird flying above her. There's a tree. Here's our first batch of images. While these are cool and very interesting, and it is that paper style, it doesn't match the image. We're getting closer. She's missing a hand. No spear, a lot of birds. The paper style is coming through, but the character is not quite what we're looking for. This is what I'm talking about. This looks great. She has a sword here. Let's look at our original image. Very good. To me, this is a pass. This is our passing image. We have one more set of images. These are also really great passing. The beauty of Describe is that you get four batches of images. So when you test, you get 16 images to compare. We only need one out of 16 to be a win. This is a really effective way of giving a result. And I'm very pleased. Our final image is our anime character girl. And we're going to see how close we get with the design. What surprises me is that these are far more risque than the image of the warrior princess that it said no to. That's why I'm confused. These are much further outside my comfort zone. I didn't know this is what was going to happen. Comparing to our baseline image, she's fully closed. She's not showing her stomach. But in three of these images, they've added that element. It's not quite there yet. Again, showing a lot of midriff on all four. This is the closest one, but I don't like this perspective. All of these images cross the line of what I consider to be appropriate. So I'm going to put that in the background. That is a fail. It took an image that is quite innocent and it pushed it into a realm that I feel uncomfortable with. I didn't know that was going to happen. I would have chosen a different seed image. This is important to show you, especially because it's head. This picture of a woman is not okay. This picture of a woman we're going to push. And maybe it's because it's more of a cartoon style. I'm not sure why this image caused a fail when I consider the results from this image much more pushing against the line. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are these images good reverse engineers? Is Midjourney's Describe able to reverse engineer Leonardo? Or do they still have very strong, distinct styles? Is it worth investing in paid licenses with multiple programs? Or are we at the point now where we can do everything in Midjourney? Let me know in the comments below. Midjourney version 6 released Describe earlier today. It's a brand new feature that they're still testing. The question is, number one, is version 6 of Describe better than version 5? Number two, does Describe reverse engineer image as well? Is it useful? And number three, can we get really great results with images from other image generators? That's what I was testing today. Number three is the most important to me because I don't see anyone else doing that. I wanted to give you guys some original tests, something from a very special angle. I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you impressed with these reverse engineer images or are you disappointed? Is it still not quite there yet? My goal is to always push the envelope, push the designs as far as possible, really go outside of the promise. Nothing in Midjourney's description said you can use other image generators, pull their images into our design. That's me pushing outside of the use case because that's what we want to do here. I'm always trying to give you that extra push to find what's the barrier on what it's able to do. I already know it can reverse engineer and create great images from stock photo size, but can we go to that next level? There's a reason that we're doing this, and that is Midjourney's already said for some of the new character consistency reference elements, you have to use a mid-journey generated image. We need the ability to take an image generated somewhere else and recreate it in mid-journey to create our consistent characters. This is very intentional 
everything I do here is leading towards something very exciting, which is per perfectly consistent characters, perfectly consistent styles, and the ability to do almost anything with mid journey, really activate that full superpower. I'm very excited by where this is going, and I hope you found this video useful. If you found this video entertaining, educational, or at least appreciate the effort I put into the video, please hit the like button that helps this channel to grow, get seen by other people, and will help you to see more videos like this one in your feed. If you hit the subscribe button, that'll bring me a little bit closer to a thousand subscribers, which I'm so excited to hit, and will ensure that even more of my videos appear in your feed. And finally, if you hit that bell, well, golly, every time I post a video, which is every single day, seven days a week, you'll get notified about that new video and you're going to absolutely love it. I put a massive amount of effort in these and I hope you appreciate that. I'm constantly working on improving the audio, improving my editing, improving the quality, improving the tests. Your feedback matters. I read every single comment. So please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you surprised by the image that Midjourney said, no, we can't reverse engineer that. I know I was surprised, but maybe you can tell why and I missed something. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here all the way to the end. As always, excited to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're gonna like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're gonna love them.